Hi, and welcome back to Supply Chain Secrets. And this week, we are talking to an old favorite, Trent Morris. Uh, Trent's done a couple of videos with us in the past, and they've been really popular. Uh, we'll put links to those as we go through this one. We've done uh, tips on procurement and tips on purchasing. But this week, we're going to be talking about a topic that one of our viewers has asked about, which is P2P, procure to pay. And uh, Trent's an expert on this, so that's coming right up. So welcome back, Trent. Your videos are proving to be very popular. Great to have you with us. Thanks, Rob. It's good to be back. Um, so the topic this week is pay to pay, procure to pay. What's all that about? So yeah, okay, good question. The procure to pro pay process is that process of um, understanding the market, sourcing uh, new suppliers, onboarding those new suppliers with contracts, agreed credit terms, mm -hmm. et cetera, and then actually sending out the first purchase order, receiving the first goods or services, and then finally um, paying the invoice that they send to you. That whole process is the, the process to pay, uh, sorry, the procure to pay process. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really what we're talking about today. It's that whole process. Okay. A, a lot of people seem to think of it as a system. P2P system and automated procurement. Is, is, is that true or false? Or? You're absolutely correct. There are a lot of systems out there that are very good that can automate the process. Uh, and they do then include things like the sourcing uh, function. They'll tell you when sourcing activities need to, mm. to be done. They'll give you, they sometimes have a suite of, of um, software that will actually help mm. you with that procurement process, that sourcing okay. process. Um, and they'll also uh, automate the PO system and the invoicing system as well. So yeah, absolutely, there are systems out yeah. there that will do it, but it's a process that can be enabled by a system yeah. rather than the other way around. So, so if we're thinking of systems, is Ariba a P2P system? Yeah, SAP Ariba is a system, yeah. one that I've used. Okay. Um, it, yeah. if, if used well, it can be a very good system. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is, a, is an example of a procure to pay system. Okay. So what, what are some key things that people need to know about P2P? What are, what are some of the things that people get right, get wrong? I think the I think the most important. Thing <laughs> we is only that, have a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, of course. I think the most important thing is the fact that um, it is a system. If you're mm. talking about Ariba, and yep. it's only as good as the inputs you give it, and mm. that's why it needs to have a process that is behind it, a standard mm. operating process, if yeah. you will, um, so that you actually know the things like who you actually want to be talking to mm. in the first place. You know. Um, the the credit terms that you're willing to negotiate, yeah. you know, you know the contracts that you want to put in place, your your S, your supplier relationship management mm. cycle, all of those things. If you know all those, then mm. a system will work very well. Okay. If you don't, like anything, garbage in, garbage out. Yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. And uh, we had a question on the channel from uh, a, a smaller company that was um, dealing with uh, you know very large customers. Are, are there issues in P two P with you know, disparity in size of company and importance of suppliers and things like that? Look, there, there's a number of things that um, that can happen, particularly during the, the times that we're in at the moment with mm. respect to COVID-19, whereby cash flow is tight, smaller companies are suffering, uh, and they, they look to their larger customers to actually support them through these times. Mm. I guess from a from a black and white perspective, there is no legal obligation uh, beyond mm. the credit terms that have been agreed in the contract for them to help. Um, but that being said, one could argue that there is a, a moral obligation perhaps. Mm. And that really comes down to the relationship that a customer and a supplier actually mm. develop. Um, and trying to be as transparent and as open book as possible um, yeah. so that your customer does know that you are struggling and if mm. they can help, they might. Mm. Um, but as I said, there's, there's no moral obligation sorry there's no legal obligation it yeah. really just comes down to that relationship you have between supplier and customer yeah okay and what what would be your big takeaway the big tip that you could give to people on sort of p2p what's one thing to, to look out for sure if you're going to buy a system make sure that you understand what you're buying mm -hmm. and that you have all of the inputs correct and you're willing to manage it in accordance with those inputs yeah. and also the system's requirements. There's no point in having a fantastic system mm. if you're not gonna use it correctly. You may yeah, as well okay. just stuck with a, with a spreadsheet sort of process. Okay. But aside from that, understanding the process and then applying it throughout, mm. um, uh, throughout the time that you're going through this procure to pay process yep. uh, is, is vitally important. Okay. 
sounds very sensible. Uh, now, if you haven't seen um, Trent's earlier videos on uh, tips on procurement, tips on purchasing, we'll put links to those right above. Um, and maybe we can actually persuade you to talk about an example of sort of P2P system in the freight sector which uh, I know is something that you've done a lot of work on. <laughs> sure, Peter P in the freight tech. Look, for, and freight is is difficult because you there is yeah. a lot of complexity within freight. Yeah. Um, I think let, the most- let, Let's do a whole separate video on that one. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, but uh, as an introduction to Peter P, thank you very much, Trent. That is awesome. Um, now, if you haven't been on this channel before, do have a look around. There's loads of different topics on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you find the channel of interest, you might want to consider subscribing, which is that red button down below. And if you hit the bell, you also get notified every time we have a new video that comes out, and they generally come out on a Wednesday. So, Trent, thank you very much for being back with us. We now know what Peter P is all about, and we look forward to talking to you again very soon. Thank you.